Hello, welcome back to Shadow Colossus or the final episode of Shadow Colossus. And this journey is about to come to an end once we destroy this last Colossus. His name is Malice. And shit. I ain't think this game be ending this quick, but yeah. This would be the 10th episode, but this is the finale. The story it tells is through the music and through the environment that we are going upon and stuff like that throughout. Each class will be fighting shit like that. It tells a story. And now the next game I'm gonna probably be doing, I'm gonna probably do like an RPG game. It's not one of my favorite games that I grew up playing. I probably know less about that game than I do this. And that game might be even longer than this game. But I'm gonna have a guide probably when I do it. So when you see my next LP up here, just know it might be an RPG. Or I might I might consider doing two LPs at once for some reason. Because I feel like I feel like I could do I could do it, you know. Combine two stories at once and shit like that. So the next game I might do. It's Beyond Two Souls. And the other game I have in store is a secret. So I'm gonna talk about what that game is a little bit about just in case, but when that time comes. But in the meantime, let's get this game over with. Cause this story is the story has to come to an end now. I'm ready to get on to the next game. Yeah. So the last process is over this way. Cause when we get down there, you're gonna see. Baby, I'm better on the run. Devil bitch ain't playing on me. It is just a game of survival. Why I'm dying for a title. When I'm just standing up alone. Let me not alone. Why am I not alone for the things that you want me to? Am I wrong? Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that it's herbal. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is the place we gotta go to. Yeah. To do is shine this light in that motherfucking circle. Pretty simple. Opens the door. No. The final door. Let's get this over, man. Come on. A little bit ways to go. I'm almost there. Yeah. Had I be yeah. steps. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. right way. Come on, aggro. Yeah. Aggro. Yeah. My favorite horse, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, I see walking. Yeah. All, right. yeah. All, right. yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Jump. Go. Oh no. Oh. Agro. No. My horse just died. Damn. That's how serious this battle is. It really killed off my horse, like. All right, that's how you're feeling, game? Nah, I'm really about to destroy this damn cloth. Are oh, we just climbing up this little rock area area? It's a long way to get up there. But they really killed off my horse though, like. Like I don't know what this game is on. And that horse really saved this horse said go, go, go. Kick this off and all that stuff like that. 
Watch your step when you come up here, cause I, I literally fell, I had to cut out this part, that part out. <laughs> but yeah. Just come up here, we almost up there. Go through here. Apparently there's a fire that's just been lit for eternity. I know it's a fact. Once you climb up here, you're gonna see it. See something real, real creepy. Do you see that, guys? You see that shit? Do y'all see that shit? This nigga told us a motherfucker. Now imagine, now he can't really move because all that contractions. Imagine this nigga just walking around the motherfucking earth and shit, just shooting at your ass. But yeah, this is the final Colossus. Malice. Our final wall to towards beating this game. Let me show you what this dude can do. All you can do in this fight is get the fuck. Yeah. That's so all you can do in this fight is run. He shoots fucking projectiles that will fuck your ass up. That's how this fight goes. So we just gotta keep running and running. This nigga takes no time in trying to eat him. In us, Woo. and that shit. I think that shit is homing. Don't don't add me. All right. What the fuck? And if you get hit, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna be down for a minute. Now there's another way you could fight him. You could go ahead head towards him, but hey, look, that's on you. I'm gonna let you try that on your own, but we're gonna do it the way the game wants us to do it. Now this part, I would say watch it. Cause he can still shoot you off this mountain. I, I've been shot off this mountain once. I remember once before. Just be careful when you go over here. That nigga, that nigga, and that nigga ain't playing no games, man. No games. That nigga don't give a fuck. How does he know where I'm at all the time? That's what I wanna know. Oh, shit. Alright, come on. Oh, get up there. Woo. All right, let's go. Make sure when you running, make sure you get your dodge rolls correct. This part right here, you will get fucked. Yeah, do that correctly. All right, I think we made it. All right, that was the last stretch. After that, you're pretty much safe. And here's the real fight. After all that stuff we run into, now we're underneath him. That was the easy part. Well, that was the hard part, I mean. Easy for me, cause I'm kinda used to it, but you can't fuck up. You can fuck up at that part. You suffer a lot. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh. This guy is like a tower. There. I like the music and I like the aesthetic. It's, it's telling us we come this far, and yet it still feels wild killing these colossus to me. Cause he can't really do nothing, and that's the final one we're fighting. But I don't give a fuck, man. I got a job to do, man. 
So climb up here from this part. Ah, up the part. You see how I be on his back? He don't even know where we at. Now we gotta go over here. What you gotta do is on his back. Stab that motherfucker. Yeah, nigga, that shit hurt, don't it? Jump on his hand. Here's the real stuff. That shit is scary as fuck. supposed to do is on this part you gotta stab his hand if you want him to get it stabilized stab that hand stabilize it get that bow and arrow shoot at his arm <laughs> easy pretty easy now here's the real fight Oh, oh, oh. This, this guy shakes more than any clauses, I believe, so. Get a bit. Alright, let's go. Time to end this fight. Ain't really hard. Oh, looks like I found the sweet spot. Oh, yeah. Those sweet spots in the game where if they shake, you won't regularly just hold it. And just end the fight. That wasn't hard, man. Last cross is out the way. These guys pretty much have arrived. Six of them. why these niggas even waste their time to come over here, to be honest. Imagine falling from now. Like. Mm. 
I mean, look at his skin. It's all dirty. His clothes, it's all dirty, man. Looks like we're being summoned back. He has horns now. Eyes is fucked up. Shut up. Dang. It was like I became a colossus. What did I love the corn corn? Always you could do. Damn. Oh, this nigga bleeding black. Oh yeah, nigga, I turned into a Colossus. I got Colossus power. That shit don't phase me, nigga. To darkness, to the shadow, nothing mirrored but a shadow.
Look how big Norman really is, though. Yeah, we get to play as Dom. Nigga, nigga, get, nigga, get your ass out of my face, nigga. All that extra shit. Oh, he trying to get weight. Come on, turn around. Don't remove. <laughs> and he's still so like conscious. Oh, he could jump too. Yeah, it's not really much you can do in this small ass space. But just, you know. Chase, I guess. I can't even see these people. I guess that's how it causes people. Oh, they right there. Man, 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 man. man, come here, nigga. Find y'all niggas. Get your ass on the ground. Get your ass on the ground, man. This nigga's invincible and shit. They supposed to bend that. What's the other attacks do? Oh yeah. Man, 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 breathe on these niggas. Come on, chase these, chase them. Them niggas, he out of way. God damn it, Dormer. You so slow. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much the end of the game of gameplay. What it seems like. I do with the sword oh yeah this part this part has a lot of meaning to it if you look into a lot of if you get if you really religious and stuff like that this part has a lot of meaning to them to that little standpoint I'll go away by the light. Huh? It's like the thunder outside. This is thundering outside, but don't mind that. Oh! No! I can make it. 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 All right, just let it suck you in. There's no point waiting. There's something you can really do, though. You have to. It's basically you really gotta get sucked by this light.
Oh no! Hold on! You will not get me! Ah! <laughs> and that's it. I have perished. Nah, this part is kind of wild, I think. The bridge will I fall apart. Like, how are we supposed to get out? I, I mean, when I mean we, I mean the girl. How does she pull it out? I wish they just fall to their death and shit. Is she gonna wake up? She's moving her lips, her eyes. She woke up. So after all, everything did work. And then and we sacrifice ourselves. Imagine just waking up to a world you don't even know where you at. My horse? This nigga is still alive? How? <laughs> nigga failed to his death. I told that motherfucker horse was missing. I know one of my videos. I tried to do with an arrow. All you heard was steel. But he broke his leg though. Undetermined assholes. Showing all the dead colossus. That that is the end of this game. Now it's another part they're gonna show, shit like that. They just going past all the causes that we defeated. Now, how I thought about this game, I mean, it's not really a bad game. The way this game tells the story is through the music, through the aesthetic, and through every time you kill a Colossus and stuff like that, something changes in the story on the character if you look closely and stuff like that. You'll, you'll kind of feel sympathy for the clauses because at the end of the day, all the clauses were connected to Dormen. And yet, 
you kill all them for pretty much no reason. Just to bring back one girl. But that's how the game wants you to feel. The game wants you to feel sympathy for these monsters. Do you think you're do you think you did it for a right cause or was you wrong for killing them? That's the message I wanna see about this game. That's number 10. That's that. The one that scared a fire. Number 11. Where you wait at? But the music in this game, that, that's my main reason to play in this game. They have great music that engulfs the story. If you listen to it, it uplifts. It has an uplifting tone to it. You can bring some type of connection towards it. And I'm a music connoisseur when it comes to games and shit like that. I can tell which one has good tracks and stuff like that or not. This game has the best of all games I played. Yet, here we go to these guys still crossing that bridge. I, w I wish they just fall, man. Fall. This pussy ass, he couldn't come over here by himself. So where would they go? I wonder. Is that a baby? Oh. We were reduced to a baby. We were reborn. That's what we would have to atone for. We'll be reborn. We'll have to start life all over. There's no way of putting them across the bridge. But the horse seems to go, seems to know where to go. Now, I think you could actually go up here in the main game. It's called a secret garden. I've only been up there once, but I'm not gonna do that in this game. No, I'm not gonna do this in this video, but 
There are videos of ways to get up here and shit like that. They'll tell you how to get up here. And there's certain fruit up here that I'm gonna say don't eat the fruit up here. Don't do it. I ain't gonna tell you what it does, but unless you find it on your own. But it takes a lot of stamina to get up here though. nature up here apparently That is the end. guys for the next LP.